three, two, one, fight! <laughs> Last time on Game Grumps! Is that guy making love to a sea creature? It does look like that when you stop the animation. Mm hmm. What's happening? But he's swinging him around in a circle. Oh, got it. Yeah. Well yeah. then. It does look like he's straight up. Alright, well, I was trying to keep it a little classier, but that's fine. There's nothing classy about the creature. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll slap that on the Game Grumps movie poster. <laughs> I'm not so gruff, and we're the Game Grumps! Hi there, Aaron. Hi, Dan. What's making you happy at this moment? It was just a point where I was going around this earth. Mm -hmm. and I think I this got bitch to, of an earth. I got to this part, uh -huh. and I was like, Oh, I don't think this is, like, real. I think this is, like, a made-up planet. And then I came over to Africa, and I was like, Oops. That's clearly Africa. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they bless the rains. Yeah, this is the real earth. It's, I mean, it's, it's a little... You know, it's cool. Stylized, but yeah, that's North America. Yeah, so cool. let's do stuff. It's cool to think that there's a, a little monster going around just destroying everything. <laughs> this should be the last Sup. episode. <laughs> for some reason, oh, is this the finale? Yeah, I think so. Okay, for some reason, I don't feel comfortable at all. Is it because our royal present is missing? No, that's not it. Oh, that's it. We get it. There's no center. There is no belly button. There's nothing solid in the center of the sky. That's why it's unstable, off-kilter, undignified, and preposterous. Oh, we remember now. It's the North Star! I'm just gonna... load the game. Great. Who knows why? But make it exactly 10 meters. The closer it is to 10 meters, the brighter a North Star it will be. Okay. Okay. But there's a catch for maybe two. How big the Katamari is to start with, nobody knows. But we will show you what 10 meters looks like. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, whoops. That was that, huh? Okay, so that's like... Oh boy. Okay, that's like the size of that building over there. A little bit bigger. Okay. Alright. Prince of Diffidence. Here we go. Oh, I'm like so far away! Oh, that completely ruins my perspective of yeah. things. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Oh boy. All oh, right. he's got a little scuba mask on when you're in the water. <laughs> yeah, well, he can't breathe. That's adorable. He does seem to like pop his head out quite a bit, though. All right, ten meters. So I would a person's like a meter is three. And people are about two meters tall, I think. Like a six. Because wait, yeah. is a meter three feet? A meter is or am I thinking of a yard? Three, a yard is three feet, but a meter is roughly a yard. I think it's shorter than a yard. Okay. Um, meter to feet conversion. Uh, three feet, three, three foot, <laughs> three foot three is a meter. Oh, really? So a meter is longer than a yard? A little bit. Okay. I'm just wrong about everything. 3.37. Uh, is the official. Okay, so 10 meters is like... A very tall man. <laughs> it's like five people, I guess. Mm-hmm. Which means maybe like a four-story building? So if I'm as tall as... A little bit taller than this building, I'd be 10 meters tall. I think so. Okay, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna use that as my basis. Let's see where I go with that. So I would say I'm about three meters tall right now. Three meters wide. Ish. There's gotta be somebody who's just like kills at this fucking mission. So I know exactly how big it is. Of course, man. I mean, I'd imagine if you play this game enough, you get to feel it out. Oh, I love feeling out the catamaries. Do you? Mm -hmm. Make me feel powerful. Catamaries. <laughs> Such gorgeous little beings. Now, is it... 
Is the 10 meters determined from, like... The like, diameter. The center of the ball, or from, like, the, the farthest point of whatever you rolled up? It's the diameter. Well, no, yeah, not the circumference, the diameter. Right, that I've got. I just don't know if the diameter the diameter is calculated by like the chunkiest ball-like portion of the ball or like let's say you rolled up two very long poles like last time would it be measured from the ends of those poles. I think it's you see that's a good question. I I agree with you that that's confusing. I think it's like a rough I think it's like taking the mass of everything and then just kind of right averaging it out. Yeah. That feels right. And then probably visually, it's also doing some kind of rough estimate to make it like seem like that's kind of the size that it's at. Mm-hmm. I guess. Makes sense. I just rolled straight through this truth. I don't give a shit. There we go, watermelon time. Palm tree time? Not palm tree time. Yeah. Watermelon time. I got that one that got a big patch of watermelons because that's gonna make me Jiro. Let's grow. Uh, uh, yeah, got it. <laughs> I, I thought like, it was like a Godzilla villain yeah, for a minute. Like Jiro dreams of sushi. <laughs> no trees, not yet, but watermelons. Yet. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Dang, that shit. Okay, we're getting there. Yep. So, okay, okay. So let's see. This is a person. So it's like one, two, three, four. This could be 10 meters. It's, it's, yeah, it's reasonably close. I would say this is seven or eight if I had to guess. Really? If I had to guess. Okay. Go a little bit higher. Ooh, yikes. Oh, yikes. I'm scaled. Daddy, please bring me Mortal Kombat from Blockbuster. No! But it just came out and my friends are coming over. I'm gonna finish you. What? <laughs> <laughs> just like, kill you, I guess. <laughs> but it sounded weird, I agree. <laughs> this is probably enough. Oh, because it's Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like, it's kind of out of nowhere to just kill your son. Like. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, like, it reminded me of this, um, uh, time I was on the... Oh, yeah, let's see. Moment of truth. I feel like this is it, man. This has gotta be it. Not bad. Oh, wait. Eight, eight meters. No. I guess you were probably right. Yeah. It's not even close, is it? Uh, a flunky star? Okay. Uh, oh, I was playing a role-playing game with my friend Patrick in, yeah. like, grade school. Or, like, in fifth grade. Yeah. And it was just over the phone, and his grandma picked up on the other line, uh, and she was like, Patrick, it's time for dinner. And he's like, oh, be right down. And then she picked up again, and he was like right in the middle of like, I was attacking a dragon. He was like, okay, you attack. And his grandma was like, I'll attack you. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Really funny. I remember it to this day. All right, this is the final stage. Okay. 300 meters. 300. I'm starting at one meter. Do it. So let's do it. Can I roll up these cows? Too early. Nope. Can't roll up the cows yet. Start with the pineapples. Oh, All right, shit. or just fall into the ocean. Another uh, great choice. This is not a good start. Just drift around the ocean, doing nothing. Fuck. Shit, this is a really bad start. <laughs> yeah, this is rough. Fish! Save me! Fish are too big. Oh no, they're good. Come back around, fish. Yeah, alright. Tuna's too big. These little guys. Snapper. <laughs> the snapper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but a little bit bucket action. Alright, this should be easy peasy. Kisses, 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 kisses. I expect kisses now. <laughs> Never expect kisses. Just be happy when they show. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that, those are words to live by, Dan. Yeah, absolutely. We should never expect kisses. Yeah. But treasure them when they are there. Right. Exactly. 
So true. I treasure every kiss. Like every awesome. kiss? Every kiss that I receive, I treasure. How could you not? <laughs> They're soft and precious. What if a stranger just came up to you and kissed you on the street? Like, right outside the CVS. I hadn't expected the <laughs> unexpected. <laughs> oh, trying to treasure! <laughs> If I could treasure that exactly. <laughs> yeah. There's very specifically a sign out here. No soliciting, no loitering, no kissing. I would treasure having an excuse to punch the guy in the dick. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I would treasure not being kissed. And then, like, a person with a clipboard comes up and they're like, Well, in that case, are you a registered voter? And it's like, oh, I'd rather be kissed by a weird. <laughs> Terrifying stranger, thanks. Oh man, they've been doing that in front of, like, some local shops near me. Sometimes I will actually just drive away. I'll just keep yes. driving. I, I can't believe there's no, like, because it's never, it's never cool, you know? It's never like, hey man, we're like trying to save the earth. It's like, oh yeah, I'm into that. I'll fucking sign a thing that says like, hey, we should stop like oil usage or whatever. But it's always like, uh, I don't know. Uh, is, is there... Can you give us money to, to build some kind of... building? Like, no. <laughs> yeah, and even if... Like, is that even real? I don't know if that's real. I can't, like, look this up. Yeah, like, I hate to say it, but, like, I don't know if the saving the Earth part is real, either. You're just a... All I know for sure is that you're a person who has accosted me yeah. <laughs> in my daily life and now you want me to write down my personal information. We're with Saving Private Ryan. We just want you to help us with, uh, Ryan. Yeah. Will you sign? <laughs> oh, sure, I'll give you all of my identifying information. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Like, I don't know, fucking go on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> go in front of a fucking Taco Bell. It's a silly idea. It's a, it's a, Okay. Wow. Th this is something that I'll ask. I'm sure we have an expert out there. Okay. How many of those are real? Percentage-wise. How and many? Then Taco Bells? I mean, they're all real. No, we, yeah. Well, some of them aren't. There are some that are just franchises. And oh, two... <laughs> uh... If some of them are real... You're talking was, about people with clipboards yes. that stand outside? If uh, some of them are real, how many of them have been effective in getting the thing that they wanted? I think it's too general a question. Because I'll see... There must be tens of thousands of different examples of all kinds. But that's fine. I don't mind an average. Right, but how would you know? Like, how could you even keep tabs on something exactly. that widespread? I think that's... I think that's... Step one of this process. Is well, like, that's what I'm saying, like, how could you be an expert on that? Well, I don't know. Maybe you're like a philanthropist or something. Philan this, this, like the, you're like a philanthropy consultant or some shit. It's like, hey, we're looking to raise some money for a thing. Can we hire you to tell us how to do it correctly? Hmm. Um. But so that's my first question, right? Okay. It's like, is is there anybody keeping track of that? Is there any way to track that? Because even if if there's not, then it's like, okay, well then this is all bullshit. Hmm. Secondly. When somebody stands outside of a fucking Walmart and does this, you know, there are only so many people that go into that Walmart a day, and I'd say probably, what, 5% of them sign it? I don't know. That's not a lot of people. And then you look at, like, those fucking online petitions mm -hmm. that have, like, hundreds of thousands of signatures that don't go anywhere. Hmm. You know, where it's like maybe it's because too many people are using fake aliases online. Maybe, but even so, it's like a huge margin above uh, the amount of people that are be interacting with them, right? With, I, with these, uh, I don't know. I don't know for sure. It seems that way to me. So it's just curious. I'm not. I'm not trying to make a point or anything. I'm just like, it's interesting. Like, why would? Why would you go outside of a Walmart and get somebody's fucking random people's name? You can just fake it. I don't know. I don't know, Aaron. This isn't my world. 
all I do is put on headphones, put on a COVID mask, put on sunglasses, hold up a book that says I hate strangers, <laughs> and keep walking, baby. Yeah. Just that, like, I, I've, I've just gotten to the point where I'm just like, no! Yeah, uh, yeah I, like... Like, I used to be the guy who would, like, oh, oh, I'm on the phone, or, like, put headphones on or something, but... At this point, I'm just like, nope! Not today! Yeah, just no thank you. Because there's... There's so many people that do that, that they just... They're not gonna... If you if you put... Give that energy, they're like, alright, that's a lost cause. Right. If, you, if you're like, no, oh, I don't know, I don't have it, th I don't know, then that's when they fucking get you. <laughs> Cause then they're like, oh well, you can take our pamphlet, and then here's the website, and let me just take your name so that I can we can contact you later. And it's like, oh god. Yeah. Listen, it, man, I just want the world to be better. I don't know if this is how I do it, but I, I certainly don't feel happier than when we started talking. <laughs> <laughs> so I've taken to just punching them in the gut. Yeah, that's what I do. A, a, a Bruce Lee esque roundhouse kick to the head. Perfectly executed. As long as we're like imagining things that aren't real, I want you all to imagine that I am a kung fu master. <laughs> <Hi -ya>! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My kick doesn't hurt them. It alters their mind patterns to be more uh, efficient about how they go about their philanthropic endeavors. Yes. And also, it changes their mind to think that they really loved getting kicked, so they're not even upset. <laughs> That's how good of a kung fu I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all over the kung fu kicks. Yeah. I'm reasonable at kung, but outstanding at <laughs> foo. My foo game is unmatched. <laughs> <laughs> well, you only have 292 meters to go, Aaron. You're doing great. Thanks. It really snowballs. It's very exponential, yes. You just sucked up a giraffe, so that's got to be a good sign. It's wild to me that they did, they do this stage and then they do this stage right after this stage. Usually they kind of like swap it out, you know? There's like three different stages that they kind of switch I, between. I do not understand what you said. The last stage that we played was this level. Oh, it was also this world. Yeah. Yes, got it. So it's, it's strange to me that they did that. Maybe it's just that like... Since this is sort of the last level, um, they wanted you to feel acquainted with it. Uh, That's fair. Before you had to go all out. Or maybe they just worked really hard on it. And they're like, listen. <laughs> you said hard on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Dude! <laughs> I did! Holy shit, man. Reminds me of that Family Guy thing where he's like, Hey, Lois, diarrhea. <laughs> and she just starts laughing like, she's like, Peter, I'm old and iced tea. <laughs> Might be my favorite joke on that whole show. <laughs> Peter, I'm old and iced tea. <laughs> oh, so relatable somehow. <laughs> you fucking knew this would happen. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a whale? Yeah, it's a whale. Excellent. Mm. Not the whale starring Brendan Fraser. No, which did very well at the Oscars. Yes. Oh yeah, congratulations to Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh yeah. Friend of the show. First Oscar. Right? Yeah, we were thrilled for the you. Golden Globe Academy Award? Wh which one's which? I don't know. I don't f that's not my world. But whatever it was, I think it was an Oscar. Okay. But she she won it. And she deserved it. 20 times over for 50 different things in her career, and now she's got it, and it's awesome. My only question, mm -hmm. who is Oscar? He's a grouch. He lives <laughs> in a garbage can. <laughs> and every year he has a very highly sought-after award ceremony <laughs> in Hollywood. He lives in a garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Yeah, so congratulations. That's great. Yeah, we we were all hooping, hooping and hollering around the office. Yeah. And uh, 
She's one of the nicest guests we've ever had. Although they've all been nice. There's, yeah. there, we, we've never had a guest where we're like, oh man. No, no, no. <laughs> but Jamie Lee, for sure. Yeah, she was- uh, uh, and, What a doll. Yep. And Ruby, her daughter, was a peach as well. So... Also, I want to say congratulations to Brendan Fraser because... Yep. That's, that's, I mean, what a history there. Yep. To, to finally have, like, that kind of redemption. I have been trying to get Brendan Fraser on Game Grumps for, I want to say, eight years. Really? Yes. Why is and that? It has always been no. And I think now that he's had a comeback, it will probably be Definitely a quicker no. no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why did you want to have him on the show? Because he's awesome! Well, yeah, the sure. The mummy? Oh, the mummy. Okay. Yeah. Fucking Encino Man? Fucking Airheads? Airheads, yeah. I knew him- I knew him more from those. School Ties, I think, was him. Dude. Um, yeah. He's- he's talented. Fucking George of the Jungle? Yeah. Blast from the Past, which was a great movie. Uh, criminally overlooked. Was that the- one? No, I I told you about it. It's it's one with Christopher Walken and Brendan Fraser where he uh he um he's in a he grows up in a bomb shelter uh and, and thinks it's essentially the fifties. He's being raised as if it's the fifties, but he emerges as a thirty five year old in the nineties. <laughs> it, it's 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 a good movie. So I, it's the plot of Encino Man, but at just a different time period. A little bit. It's it's not that far off. Although I, I dare say it's a better movie than Encino Man. No. Really, you haven't seen it, Aaron. Yeah, but Encino Man's like. You haven't in seen it. <laughs> you haven't even in seen it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah. But Encino Man, pretty hard to top. I enjoyed Encino Man. Nothing wrong with that. Rem reminds me of that. Happy time in the early 90s. Yeah. When everything was like neon colored. Yeah, and like so many of those movies were just like on TV. Mm hmm. Like that's, I think that's how I saw most of them. Yeah. I think I watched George of the Jungle on VHS, but. Yeah, I only saw The Mummy recently. Though I oh, thought it was really? very good. Oh, dude, it's fucking awesome. Yep. Have you seen the other two? I did not. Have you seen the Scorpion King? Uh,. The Mummy came very highly recommended, and the other two, less so. Two is... Two is fun. Okay, cool. And three is kind of whatever, but it's nice to see Brennan again. Right. And like Rachel an old Weiss. friend. Uh... But the Scorpion King... Not great, but I kind of love it. And it doesn't have Brennan in it, but that's okay. Scorpion King is... Which Mummy is that? Is yeah. that just its own movie? So... In the second movie, yes, the villain was the Scorpion King, who was played by The Rock. Got it. Um, one of the worst CGI. I think I've heard that. I, th I think people have mentioned that to me. Yeah, but I mean, it was from that time. Yeah. Like CGI from like late '90s, early 2000s is pretty rough. So, with, with certain exceptions, Lord of the Rings still looks really good. Right. Um. Anyway, they made a movie about The Rock. Mm -hmm. As the Scorpion King, because I don't know, people really liked the Scorpion King, I guess, mm -hmm. as a character. Uh, fucking slaps. It's not a good movie. Okay. But it slaps. Great. You can suck up the octopi now. Yeah, boy. Delicious. Delicious. Maybe this is how I remember sucking mm -hmm. up the superhero. There oh, yeah. Is. You're doing pretty well now. I got the shrimp building. Yep. You're causing a lot of horrible destruction, which is what we like to see. Yeah. Dare I say you're reeking right now? I don't know what that means. Reeking havoc? Oh. Eureka! <laughs> okay. Eureka. I have havoc. What's going on, Borf? You're coming over like you have something to show. There was a fourth one. That was, that was the third one. Tomb of the Dragon Emperor? The third one was the, the movie you just said. Scorpion, Scorpion King? King? I'm saying the Tomb of the Dragon Emperor is the third one, and Scorpion King is its own thing. Scorpion King is like a spinoff. Because uh, it doesn't have Brendan Fraser in it. It's and that not. means you have personally checked out. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's still cool. It's not good, but it's cool. Cool. It's just got that kind of, you know, mid-2000s, whatever. Tomb of the Dragon Emperor is kind of wacky. 
There's like, there's like CGI Yetis. That is weird. Yeah. That's an odd choice. And, uh... It's just... Not as fun. Mm -hmm. Definitely the worst of all of them. But I'm glad you saw the first one. I did. I, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, thought it was wonderful. And, and you know what? I don't know how to pronounce his name. Fraser. Uh, no, not him. Uh... Is it Kihoi Kwan? The data from Goonies. Oh, the actor. Yes. Uh, I, I've never actually said his name or heard his name. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't... Yeah. I always only read it on Twitter. We're saying, yeah. But, uh, goodness knows I loved him as Short Round in Temple of Doom and Data from Goonies, like, so, he was, he was a legend. And, uh, I haven't seen everything everywhere all at once, but I'm told it's excellent. Um, and, uh, I don't know, it, it was just another... You can just see how much it means to them, you know? Yeah. Like... And, and that, that's that's a beautiful thing. Because they... They work very hard. You know? We're, we're, we're not actors, but like... We've... <laughs> we've played one on TV. <laughs> like, we, we've we've done acting for various things before, and it's it's like... It's pretty difficult. Yeah, it's, it's, it's harder work than it seems. Um, it's like very, very long hours, and... It, if you're working on a big project like that, it it becomes your life in a lot of ways. Yeah. It's very emotionally straining too. I, yeah, at least for us it was. Maybe some people can do it fully detached or whatever, but um, I don't know. I'm I'm just it, it, it's nice to see them get rewarded for hard work. Yeah, truly. Congratulations, everybody. Yeah, especially my boy Brendan. Fucking deserved it from the beginning. Take it easy. <laughs> hey, take it easy. <laughs> Why don't you take it easy, man? Okay, cool. He's a fucking king. Dare I say we stand? <laughs> you are, you are starting to definitely get um big to the point where uh nothing is safe in this world. Yeah. This is uh, this is pretty scary for everybody in my way. Yeah, I would leave. I would have left town. This is at that size where, like, if you saw it, it's so big that it would start to get that kind of like haze effect, where like the top of it's kind of blue, like the sky. Oh, is that right? You know I didn't know that was about? a thing. You know, when you look like look at mountains, like the more distant mountains are kind of like more hazy and more like kind of bluish. Huh. I have to look for that. I. Wow, you never noticed that? No, I mean, probably just something I took for granted. Suck up that airplane. I'm trying, bro. There you go. Well, you got one. Did I miss it? You missed one of them. Oh! Man, we're not even close right now. Oh, shit. I think we finally lost track of the prince. Like, I no longer see him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty tiny. Which is fine. At this point. This is where we started. This little tiny island right here. Goodness gracious. This is that whole area. And now it's just gone. Well, I love it. I mean, shit happens, man. Progress. Now this is progress. This is human progress Sucking right up that Mogren. Oh, is this supposed to be like the Tokyo Metropolitan Building? Oh. Yeah. Really yeah. amazing building. Oops. <laughs> it's really funny. You got six minutes, dog. Yeah, like, what else is there? There's this fucking Alcatraz ass stadium out here. At some point, it'll be big enough to suck up the entire buildings, but. I mean, the entire islands. Yeah. I'm getting there. Yeah. Ooh, whatever this is, this is what I'm doing. Baby, come on, lock up, baby, lock up. Whoa, oh, oh, this? you're in Cold Town. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's a whiteout. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck? Wow. I've never seen this before. That's cool. The fog rolled in. That's cr Wait, what turn, is turn, turn around and get your bearings. I'm trying. Okay. okay. Boy, that was weird. That was weird. I liked it. Oh, you can suck up the whirlpools. I like how they're still spinning. As they should be. 
Boy, that's catchy. I don't know if I'm gonna. Yeah, it's gonna be close. Gonna make it. Keep going. Don't despair. Off to the uh, ahead there, up there, to to your right. Yeah. Shitty little island up here. Yep. Ooh, a rainbow. That looks significantly suck upable. <laughs> I can suck up. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, you're not. You're definitely gonna make it now. Woo! Oh, you're almost there. Get the rainbow, yeah! So nice and dreamy. Thank you. Boop. Oh, can't get the rainbow. Once again, peace and joy and love and happiness has been the barrier crushing your life. <laughs> That's fine. I don't even think about it anymore. <laughs> Shwatevs. Yeah, everything's kind of like separated into little hexes now. Yeah, this is cool. It's like the giant's causeway. <gasps> oh. Wow. This escalated quickly. You're already over 500. Oh my god. Oh. Getting a little too big for my britches here. Yeah, no, I mean like, your britches are out of control. <laughs> Oh, cool, Raijin, the god of thunder. <laughs> Fuck your britches, <laughs> Raijin. Okay. And there's also Fujin, the god of wind. That's where he is. They are the statues outside of, um... Uh, Sensoji in Asakusa. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I've always wanted to go there. You never been to Asakusa? Nope. We didn't go there? Mm-mm. That, like, long shopping market place? Yeah, no. We went to, uh... That fishing village that I thought was so cool. Komaki? That might have been. It was, like, a small town. Yeah. yeah that was Komaki. Komaki, that was beautiful. And then Tokyo, and that was m mostly it. And Mount Fuji. Well, t Asakusa's in Tokyo. Oh. Maybe we did go there then, but I, I don't remember that name. It's, like, very... Did we go to that, like, old, uh, theme park? No. It's like the oldest theme park in Japan? Unless you're talking about Tokyo Disney. No. No, we did not. Okay, yeah, you would remember that. So we probably didn't go to that. No, we went to, I remember the Gauchapon place, which was bananas. No, not Gauchapon, uh, the, uh, Plinko. Uh... Pachinko? Pachinko, thank you. Plinko's from Price is Right. Um... It's probably in... That was madness. Yeah, you step one foot in and you're like, I'm good. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, it's like all smoky. What an experience. Try to get that, um, to the left. Try try going into the whiteness and grabbing the... Yeah, it doesn't oh, matter now. You're, you're bigger than the weather systems. You have I one minute left. I wonder if there's somebody that's rolled up every single thing on this There's got to be. Level. Like, that seems like... Pretty hard. Get, oh, get the rainbow, Worf says. Uh, there, there it is. is. There it is! Yeah! Rainbow. Got yeah! It. Wow, little angels. Sorry, leprechauns. Wow, that is a big ass catamari that you've created, Aaron. Thank you. Really that proud of you. Wow, I can't even do the, like, super fast yeah. run anymore. Because everything you're doing is covering miles anywhere. Oh god. Wow. It never ends. This is awesome. Millions were killed! <laughs> wow, you squeaked that one out, Aaron. The world is mine! <laughs> like, holy crap! <laughs> Look at his big fucking e smile. Yeah. <laughs> It's floating, but it's not a dream. 829 meters, 98 centimeters, 8 millimeters. Cool. How supple this silhouette, this substantial heft, this mellifluous mood, and the rising tide of familial love. We are moved. When it gets this big, it's hard to tell what you have the most of. My, Earth really does have a lot of things. 
We will now release the moon into the sky. Is this Brrr. around the size of the moon? Boom, baby. It's kind of a weird moon. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> we are exhausted. The sky is done. The sky is complete. Phew, we are tired. Rolling a Katamari is very hard. Right, Prince? Wasn't it hard? Wasn't it? Yeah. Well, it was hard for us as well. To watch it from the cosmos was very hard. Doing nothing. So, so boring. Half asleep we were. Ah, we can finally go home. Finally sleep in bed. Uh, delicious. Today will be a party day, especially since the Prince is finally two centimeters taller. We must celebrate. Mother, we need cake. Whoa, who's mother? Mother Earth, maybe? Look at me dance. Prince of Ouija! King of Osama. What the fuck? Queen of Uhai. Who are these people? I, that was- that was- That was the main. That was the, the- you- you, your dad, and your mom. Wow. Look at you partying. My god, this yeah. is- Yeah. Very aggressive drum beat. <laughs> na, 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 We've destroyed na, na, everything. Na, na, na. Wow, we truly have the dinosaurs are back. Dinosaurs! <laughs> hey! <laughs> cool. Na, 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 <laughs> that's, that's how I imagine na, it's like. Na, 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 na. It's fucking terrifying. Yeah, you know, uh, Sneak Snag talking about dinosaurs sent me a really cool thing. Oh yeah? Uh, yeah, let me, let me find it. Let me find it. Na, 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 na. Cool. Collect all the categories, the objects. Oh yeah. Uh, on YouTube it's called Dinosaur Vocalization Study. Part 1, 2, and 3. They- they do one for each era of dinosaurs, but it's like the latest- the latest technology, um, making assumptions based on what they think dinosaurs sounded like. Yeah. And it's very, like, haunting and beautiful and interesting. Uh, so, if you want to watch a little something- That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, if you want to switch up your energy after watching us beat the holy hell out of Katamari one more time. What a fun game. What a fun guy. Yeah! <laughs> Big ball. That's us. That's me That's the one I like, friends. the blue and white dots. He's pretty cool. He's, he's alright, that one. Lonely rolling star, Ooh. mother fudger. Well, I hope you had a great time. Yeah, that was fun. That was really nice to revisit. Yeah. What other games should we revisit? Let us know. Yeah, let, let us know what you'd like to see us play again. Um, we just found out we... Someone said we didn't finish Sonic and the Secret Rings. Is that possible? I know we didn't finish uh, the Sonic DS, whatever it's called. Sonic Adventure DS. Yeah, Sonic Adventure DX. DX, that's it. Yeah. Um, we, we can definitely finish that, but like, Secret Rings? We didn't finish that? I don't remember. We finished the Black Knight. We definitely. But, yeah, I don't remember Secret Rings. Alright, we'll have to look into that. I don't even remember what that game... what happened in it. It'll come back to us, I'm sure. But either way... And I'm still gonna finish We Punch Out. I know I've been saying that for eight years now, but... The show's not over, damn it. <laughs> so... I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it. Oh, there we go. Good job, Aaron. Rolling up Europe. Many were killed. <laughs> we'll see you later, everyone. Bye, y'all. Goodbye. Hey, hey. Goodbye. Well done, Aaron. Well done, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs>